Indiana State Representative Phil Hinkle says that he refuses to resign from his position after he paid, and he admits to this, uh, after he paid an eight, a young man $80 to spend some time with him in a downtown hotel. But I'm sure they were just going to play Scrabble, so I don't know why everybody's making a big deal out of it. That's pretty much what he claims. <laughs> now, he says that uh, that he admits that, look, the, the thing that he replied to was a guy looking for a sugar daddy. You don't really play Scrabble with a guy <laughs> who's uh, your sugar daddy. Uh, my understanding is you do other things, right? Mm -hmm. Now, look, this is all ridiculous. He, he knows it. He knows that there were going to be shenanigans there. And it just turned out that the kid got cold feet. He had, By the way, he advertised himself as 20 years old. It turns out he was actually 18 years old. Mm -hmm. His version of the story is uh, he finds out that the guy's a state lawmaker, gets nervous, and says, I want to get out of here. Mm -hmm. And he says Hinkle doesn't let him out, and then shows him his Johnson and goes, supplies! <laughs> And you know, and as if that would make him want to stay. Yeah, like, like look at my wrinkly penis. Uh, like, don't I'm, don't you want a little bit of that? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about that part. Okay, so, uh, and now Hinkle has a new version because we did this story for you before when it first broke. Now he says, oh no no no, none of that happened. So, but how did they get your wallet and uh, well and your phone and your iPad? But, well, the the kid's story was. He, that when his sister showed up, because he went into the bathroom and called his sister, come and get me, this guy won't let me out of the hotel room. And uh, when the sister showed up, she, uh, he said, oh my God, okay, okay, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, just take my stuff, take my iPad, take, take my money, money, take my, now Hinkle says, no, 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 that's not what happened. Uh, I never showed him any body parts, we were just talking about baseball, and then he stole all my stuff. Yeah, he claims that, Hinkle claims that he went into the restroom and when he came out, he noticed that uh, the 18-year-old boy and his sister had taken his iPad, BlackBerry, and all of his money, his money clip, and also his um, uh, card, uh, right. business card holder. And then that's how they found out that he was a state lawmaker. Look, I, I don't know who's right or wrong on the exact details. One part of Hinkle's story was a little convincing. Uh, the sister had claimed that uh, she uh, that the wife had called, and since they have a cell phone, they picked it up, and they were like, oh, by the way, your husband's gay and was just trying to have sex with my 18-year-old uh, uh, brother. And she claims that the wife then said, oh, my God, don't tell anybody. I'll give you $10,000. Right. Hinkle's response to that was hilarious. I want to read you his quote. Um, he said, anybody who knows my wife knows she would not pay $10 to keep a mistake I made quiet, let alone $10,000. <laughs> you can tell the dude's got issues with his wife. Uh, so anyway, well, rightfully so. He's sneaking off with 18-year-olds into hotel rooms and doing whatever he's doing. Right. But look, the details on who's right on what uh, specific thing is nearly irrelevant because the bottom line is uh, the guy obviously went and tried to do this thing that isn't legal, by the way. Although, you know, I, they're consenting adults, I think it should be legal, but uh, obviously it's not going to play well when you're a Republican, so all the other Republicans are saying, please step down, look, if you were straight, it's one thing. Oh, oops, did that slip out? Okay, so obviously they don't want this guy to continue in office. He says he's going to stay until uh, the end of his term, then he won't run for re-election. Uh, but the part that drives me crazy is he says... I'm not gay. Right, 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 right. You paid an uh, 18 year old boy $80 to hang out with you in a downtown hotel because you're completely straight. Because, and you're... because you want to talk baseball with Yeah. Oh, come, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No one believes that. He no. doesn't even, okay, here's the thing. He doesn't even have a response to that. When people ask him why he did it, he says, I don't know. He says, yeah, I don't know. I was stupid. You were stupid, why? Because you gave in to what is an obvious temptation for you, right? That's the only possible explanation. And look, Maybe you're bisexual. Uh, that's fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. We just did a study that shows that bisexual people exist. Right. Okay, so congratulations, you exist. <laughs> but you can't say that you didn't have a gay inclination when you applied to be the kid's sugar daddy. Get real, okay? So, yet another case of Republican hypocrisy. At this point, no one's surprised.